All right, so for your pieces, when you guys make your relief layers, I don't want them any thicker than a quarter inch. So we see this right here. That's for your relief layers. So instead of having large pieces that stick out like our masks, the relief layers we're looking for can be anywhere thinner than a quarter inch as long as you guys can work with your pieces. So you can kind of see here, those relief layers are incredibly thin. Okay, so we wanna work with thinner relief layers on the outside of our slab boxes. And to get them thinner than a quarter inch, you need to bring it back to your table. Rolling pins are gonna be over with the tools and you guys are gonna roll it out till it's about one eighth of an inch or thinner. And instead of asking me, just check it with a ruler, make sure it's one eighth of an inch or thinner. Um, for those of you that want to try skins, which is an advanced technique, it's similar to relief layers, but you're working with really, really thin clay. And what that does is it gives you the ability to create textures on a thin layer of clay. So for example, if we look at this piece right here, you can see our windowsill has texture on it. But once your clay becomes leather hard, it's difficult to add texture to it. So you can use a thin layer of clay or a skin over the top of it, and then you can still add texture. So I have a couple things that you guys can use for that. I'll show you where that is at the end of the video. So once I've rolled this out to about an eighth of an inch, I can lay a, piece, a piece of textured fabric over the top. I'm gonna show you guys a couple things you can do with this and roll it again to get that texture to stick. I'm gonna check it. Yep, so I have a nice texture over the surface. I'll zoom in so you guys can see that texture a little bit better. Okay, so that's applied over the surface. And then I might use something like this. Obviously, every single piece is gonna make a little bit different texture. And I wanna make sure that that clay goes into the surface here. And this skin can cover the entire side of your box or it can just be a small piece of it. So if this is my slab box, we're just gonna pretend because I don't have one as an example. If I want this to cover the entire space and be a background, so for example, if I wanted it to be waves and then I'm putting sea turtles over the top, you would have to cut this out, lay it over your slab box, just so it has just a little bit. You can see if this were my slab box wall, I just want a little bit of overlap. So I can trim it off. It's similar to the way we did our top and bottom. So I can trim off the excess for now. It would still go over the edges of my slab box. So again, we're pretending this is a wall on my slab box, okay? Then when you score and slip this on, it is very different because you're not actually going to slip. You guys are gonna use tools like this. We have the flat metal scraper with the teeth. We have combs. Some of you guys have this tool in your kit, the little wire tool for scoring. What we wanna do is not create deep score lines in this because we want our piece to lay flat on it. And if we create deep score lines, it's going to not lay flat. So I am just roughing up this surface. And instead of slipping, I'm just gonna add water. So I'm just dipping my hand in my water cup, going over the surface. And skin should be really, really thin and delicate. So we don't wanna score that, you're gonna tear that skin. So then I can take this, I can lay it over the top. Again, this would be your slab box. I don't wanna mess up my texture. And then you would turn your slab box over and trim. And you can use the X-Acto knife so I can trim it and it's gonna match up with my side exactly. Okay, then I would take the side and I would just smooth out so I don't see the seam between the two layers. So then you would have this background that you can work with. And we would continue with that until it matches up the entire piece. Then I can add, you know, my hand-built pieces on there. So now I have this really easy textured background. We can't press textures into a leather hard um, slab box because you guys are going to end up messing up the walls. This is just a really easy way to apply that. That's why you want to make sure they're nice and square before you apply this onto it. You can also, I'm just going to peel this off because it's still wet. I'm able to peel it. You can also cut out small shapes. So let's say I have a circle. It's going to be pretty rough, but we're going to go with it. Okay, so if this is my relief layer with texture or my skin with texture, same thing. I'm going to rough up the surface. Let's go to this side. I'm gonna rough up the surface. I'm going to apply water. I don't have to rough up my relief layer. I wanna to gently touch the texture. And so that way we have some thin relief layers with texture because this is still not super thin. So think about a skin, uh, like wrapping paper that's gonna go around a surface. It can get as thin as you can 
make it work. This is more of an advanced technique. It is not required on your project, um, but it does add a little bit to it. So you guys are still required to do relief, texture, or hand-built pieces. Um, but some of you guys with a simple design, this might work really well to add a little bit to it, especially for the background textures. Um, I also have a couple of these rollers that make textures like this. And you guys can use those as well. So if I have my thin skin layer rolled out, I'm just gonna use the back side of this one so you guys can just see how those work. It's the same idea. You don't want to roll over the top. Once you roll it once, that's it. Don't go over it again. So then I could use this section and you can see it's getting thinner as I'm working with it. This would work just fine. But those rollers also create texture over the top of the surface that I wouldn't be able to press into leather hard clay. So same process, the rollers just work a little bit different. Um, these uh, texture pieces down here in this drawer, rolling pins, if I didn't already make you sick, are over in this corner right over there. Okay, so just make sure you guys put those materials back when you're done.